Hello and welcome to the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp. In this episode, I am going to go over the polymer versus porcelain insulators. Both polymer and porcelain have similar electrical properties. Mechanical-wise, polymer supports both tension and compression force. However, porcelain can only use under compression force. Porcelain, on the other hand, can shed environmental particulates, for example, dirt, by using rain and snow. But polymer, on the other hand, cannot do that, as it is easier for particulates to cling onto the surface of polymers versus that of porcelain. Therefore, polymers are more susceptible to flashovers, but this can be fixed by adding polymer surfaces to the insulator. Polymers are more lightweight and would not break when dropped, whereas porcelain are higher susceptible to breakage. Once you look at all of the advantages and disadvantages, you would see that more and more utilities currently adopt polymer insulators um, over porcelain as their go-to insulators because of its uh, more lightweight and um, it's not susceptible to uh, brickage. However, due to that, that they're attracting uh, more environmental particulates, um, they would, uh, utilities usually would have periodical insulator washing and inspection programs to make sure that um, they can minimize the environmental particulates that cling on to those insulators and prevent flashovers from happening. I hope you enjoy um, this episode uh, in the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp. And if you wish to connect with me, um, I would be more than happy to show you more in the electrical engineering world. Um, for the latest news in the world of electrical engineering, please, please connect me with me through Twitter, which my handle is at EE Bootcamp. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest free training videos for you to have um, uh, more knowledge about electrical engineering and the various industries that are in the electrical engineering world. Lastly, if you wish to connect with me on LinkedIn, please send me a link of your profile to eebootcamp at yahoo.com. And after I receive um, the link to your profile, I will send you a personal invite to connect in LinkedIn. Again, thank you for your time. Have a good one. Bye for now.